Good afternoon, TikTok. Goeiemiddag, Mulweni. This is your favorite stylish politician, and if I'm not, I actually don't care. I will still love you. It's Friday, and I'm starting a new thing on Fridays called Friday Facts. Vrijdag Feiten. Just to spend some time with you on TikTok on a Friday. Get a couple of stuff off my heart from the past week and clarify a couple of things every Friday. I'll post it. Let's start off with uh, something that's on my heart. And that is the spring box. Well done, Amaboko. But what really makes me sad today, and I have to give it straight to you today, is this utter rubbish of this government, the ANC, who has now decided that this is their victory. So let me quickly tell the president and Cyril and Fakile Akdun absolute fissis nuts. This little jovial minister of sport that is now appearing on every bus, every platform and every podium. I want to tell you very clearly. Yo Moorman. Tsaktsai. This is not your victory. This is by far not your victory. I'll tell you who is the people that need to claim this victory. First and foremostly the team. The whole team, an unbelievable captain in Siakulisi, a great Ninaber and Erasmus, a great leadership in the management. Secondly, undoubtedly, the citizens and the people and the fans of this country. You see, it's a partnership that we started there. They carried us and we carried them and the ANC carried absolutely nothing. How pathetic are you to coming to this point where you now want to grandstand and to make as if you united, you led, you inspired this team becoming the World Cup champions? Who pathetic is you that you now will stand Met jou ingenome gebuigde knieën, jou oorhangende stuif getrekkende jersey van al die kos en al die gemors wat jylle gevat het. En nou wil jy staan en sê dit was jylle. En om het erger te maak, kom verkoop jy nou aan ons een vakantiedag. Now if I was the ANC, I would be very scared today. I would avoid every top end of a bus, every podium and every stage that you occupy with real champions. Do you know why I would not be celebrating, but I would be worried? Well, let me give you my opinion. If I were you, I would look at this victory of this team with a major burning fear in my chest. Because you see, Cyril, this country showed that no matter your load shedding, your pala pala, your zondo commission, your theft, your COVID, your raping of the system, your total depletion of the equity of this country, that notwithstanding that, this country united, united in lounges, united in public spaces and watched a team rise above the failure of yourself and your government. The impending Protea cricket team also rising, fighting day by day to give this country another accolade without you is clear. Now, if sport can do this, if sport can bring black and white to green and gold, imagine what we can do 
if this total, huge, massive, awesome country rises one morning and instead of putting on the green and gold, we bring in God, we bring in unity, and we bring in the South African hope to remove you at the ballot box next year. So this is not a message to give the accolade to a government that has done everything to abuse this country. And then come you have a vrachtige of family vergadering om for us to tell who blij you is. Well, hear me now very mooi, Mr. Ramaphosa, your moor. We have not forgotten what you have done to us pre-World Cup and we will keep on reminding you what you did to us post-World Cup. In 2024, 60 million people will come together, united, to now have not a Rugby World Cup, but a Freedom World Cup for every person in this country to finally be free of you. May every single person in this country that saw our Springboks go through this country. The messages from them and their leadership be burnt into our memory when next year we need to rise and again unite, this time not for a cup, but for the change of a country that has gone through so much so that we can also now stand up and have those accolades in the streets for a new beginning. I hope that this spirit that was started by a team will now carry on to a nation. God bless you, the Eurasian Yellow. And for this team, thank you. Thank you from all of us for being whom you are and for bringing back hope. But remember, hope is not a strategy. It's the beginning that will turn into belief. And for that, we will be forever, forever grateful. So thank you for listening to me. Thank you for everybody that supports us and supports freedom. And remember, South Africa first. But God will always remain number one. Die Heere sien jylle, stier hierdie ding, stier om in die donker duister in, dat ons kan licht bring. Want hou is die eerste, maar God altyd nommer een. Baie dankie.